Neonicotinoids cause problems for bees, insects and birds. Neonicotinoids, or neonics, are a class of pesticides that are used widely in agriculture to protect crops from insect pests. However, the use of neonics has been linked to a range of problems for bees, insects and birds. One of the main problems for bees and other pollinators caused by neonics is that they can interfere with the insect's ability to forage and navigate. Studies have shown that exposure to neonics can impair the cognitive abilities of bees, making it more difficult for them to find food sources and navigate back to their hives. This can lead to reduced foraging and reproductive success and ultimately declines in the populations of pollinators. Without pollinators, many plants are unable to reproduce and produce fruit, which can lead to a significant reduction in crop yields for farmers and also a decline in overall biodiversity. This, in turn, can lead to food shortages and higher prices for consumers. In addition, neonics can have a range of sublethal effects on bees, including reducing the immune system response and making them more susceptible to diseases and parasites. These effects can weaken bees and reduce their lifespan, leading to further declines in pollinator populations. Neonics can also harm other insects, such as butterflies and moths, which are important for pollination and other ecosystem functions. Furthermore, neonics can harm birds by not only reducing their food supply, but according to studies carried out in the United States, these pesticide bee killers also kill birds. Marketed in France since 1991, but finally totally banned on 23rd January 2023, neonics, in particular imidacloprid, are used to coat seeds for various crops – wheat, beet, corn and sunflower. As reported by the French Bird Protection Lead, LPO, this substance is highly toxic. Apparently, just six seeds coated with imidacloprid are enough to kill a grey partridge, a species present in the north of France. Indirectly, this neonicotinoid causes the disappearance of pollinating insects, terrestrial and aquatic invertebrates, and bats and birds. Birds such as swallows rely on insects for food, and the use of neonics can reduce the availability of insects in their habitat. This in turn can lead to reduced reproductive successes and declines in bird populations. Neonics can also have a range of other impacts on the environment. For example, they can contaminate soil and water sources, harming other non-target organisms. Neonics have been found in streams, rivers and even in drinking water, which can have implications for human health as well. In conclusion, the use of neonics can have a range of negative impacts on bees, insects and birds, as well as the environment as a whole. As such, it's important to minimise the use of neonics and other harmful pesticides and to use integrated pest management approaches that consider the impact on the environment and non-target organisms. Protecting pollinators and other beneficial insects is crucial for maintaining the health of ecosystems and ensuring the sustainability of agriculture and biodiversity for the planet.